Why being born as a sunfish is the worst thing ever. Your life from the very beginning is a competition for survival, uh, a competition in which you are probably the loser. You drift in the water among millions of other strange brothers and sisters. Uh, but let's look a little more precisely. You are so small that if an ordinary fish were to eat you, it wouldn't even notice that it swallowed something. You have no teeth, no defenses, no speed, and not even a will to determine the course of your life. Let's be honest. If nature were to hold a contest for the most defenseless creature in the world, you would be the champion without any rival. And consider this, you are not alone, for millions of other baby sunfish are drifting with you in the water. Now imagine that in this turbulent sea, suddenly a wave comes along and carries you like dust in the air in any direction it pleases. You are an insignificant speck that has no control over the course of your life. Another problem is that at the very same moment, thousands of sea creatures with shining eyes and hungry bellies are swimming around you. To them, you are exactly like a bucket of french fries for a starving man. Everything around you is faster, stronger, and hungrier than you. You were born into conditions where not only do you have no chance for survival, but you don't even have a moment to think about your fate, because you will probably be eaten in a few seconds. You are smaller than a grain of rice, yet you are supposed to grow 60 million times larger. This is equivalent to a baby human growing into the size of a skyscraper in a few years, but with the difference that almost everything along the way wants to eat you. Don't play. Just try not to get eaten. Well, now that you have miraculously passed the stage of being born and being eaten in the first five minutes, it's time for the second stage of your life, the futile struggle of not being eaten. Of course, you should not expect much, because nature has not provided you with any defensive weapons. You have no venom, no spikes, no hard shell, nor even the ability to escape. Your only defensive trait is that you hope you taste bad, which, unfortunately, you do not. Your first challenge? Figuring out which side of your body is the front. You have a tail, but it is designed so foolishly that every time you move it, it is more like you are drowning in the water. You have no control over your movement, like a punctured balloon spinning on the surface of the water, being dragged in whatever direction the current desires. Even an autumn leaf in the wind has more control over its movement than you. Meanwhile, the world around you is full of creatures that are deciding whether you are worth eating or not. The smaller fish glance at you and say, oh, this thing is not worth it. But the larger creatures do not even think about it. They simply open their mouths and suck you in. Even if you try to escape, you only wobble in place and flutter like a wet balloon in the water. Let us imagine a scenario. Suddenly, a predatory fish sees you. You become aware of the danger. Your heart begins to beat, and you must do something. But what? In which direction should you flee? Do you even know which side of your body is the front? Your only reaction is to tremble a little in place and hope that the predator loses interest. Guess what happens? Yes, it does not lose interest at all. In a fraction of a second, you are eaten. Another problem? Even if the predators lose interest, you will probably be swept away by a giant wave and meet a new fate, crashing into a rock or getting entangled in seaweed. You have officially become a worthless piece in the water's flow that cannot decide its future. In other words, you are like a piece of ocean trash that just drifts this way and that, waiting for something to devour you first. Eating food? Are you kidding? You have a mouth that is always open, not because you are hungry, but because you simply cannot close it. Many think that means eating is easy for you, but no, you are, in a way, a broken vacuum cleaner. Whenever a piece of food comes near you, you try to grab it, but most of it slips right past your open mouth and is lost. In the best case, only a little of the floating remains in the water is yours. Yes, from the very first day, you are destined to play the role of the ocean garbage eater. When growing up is also a misery. Well, congratulations. Not only have you survived, but you have also grown a little. But don't be happy, because growing up does not benefit you at all. It only makes your problems bigger. Other fish, when they grow, become stronger, faster, and smarter. Uh, but you... You just become a larger, aimless piece that still cannot determine its own course. As you grow, your shape becomes even more terribly strange. 
Your body, which previously had no particular functionality, now resembles a marine pancake. Imagine inflating a balloon so much that it loses its original form and becomes unrecognizable. Yes, that is exactly what happens to you. You have not only become slower, but swimming for you now resembles trying to run through mud. Right now, while you are growing, another nightmare awaits you. The abundance of parasites. Yes, now that your body has grown larger, you have provided more space for colonies of parasites. This means that not only does growing not help you, but now even more uninvited guests have taken up residence on your skin, gills, and even inside your internal organs. So if you thought that growing up would make your life better, sorry, but no, this is just the beginning of a new misery. Drifting, the worst trait for a fish. Being a sunfish means remaining like a leaky boat for your entire life. Imagine that you are a fish, but unlike all other fish, you cannot stay underwater. Yes, while other fish enjoy the beauty of the ocean depths, you always remain suspended on the water's surface like a piece of trash. You have no special movement because even your fins do not work properly. You only hope that a wave will push you toward food because you yourself have very little ability. You are like an amusement park for these creatures, and there is no way to get rid of them. Sunfish, the show star in nature's circus. <laughs> In the end, you grow larger than all the bony fish in the world. Perhaps you think that means you are now strong and powerful, but no, it just means that you have now become a strange and funny phenomenon. Tourists come with their boats, see you, and laugh while pointing at you. Some even think you are a shark, and when they realize that you are a poor sunfish, they leave in despair. Worse than everything? You are so calm and defenseless that some boats consider you a piece of wood and pass right over you. Naturally, you don't even have enough speed to escape, so you just remain and hope to survive yet another one of these. And in the end, no one knows why nature decided to create you, but whatever it is, it was probably a ruthless joke. You have neither speed, nor power, nor even a proper, decent tooth. Your entire life is summed up in not being eaten and eating things that might be food or might not be. So if one day in your life you feel despair, think of the sunfish. Perhaps your life is hard, but at least you are not drifting aimlessly in the ocean, and no one regards you as a living joke. If you feel that there is no creature more miserable than a sunfish, then be sure to watch our next video.